A video posted to Instagram shows Mesa police officers handcuffing 52-year-old Darnay Cockrell in the parking lot of his complex. If it was role reversed, they would want me fired. On August 6th, Darnay called police to report his ex had taken his daughter. But this bastard on the phone, I'm like, she took... I'm saying kidnapping her. She kidnapped a kid. Darnay says he ran downstairs as one officer was arriving. When, when I was coming down the stairs, he was coming this way, and I kind of jumped like, hey, she ran off with my kids, so as I'm coming this way, he kind of blocked me off about right up in here, and he was telling me to sit on the curb right here, and I told him, I'm not sitting on no curb. Concerned for his daughter, Darnay says he refused to sit. Instead, he says he stood by his car as another police officer showed up. And I was like this, finna call my job, and that's when they grabbed me right here. The Mesa Police Department didn't agree to an interview. The department said they had not finished redacting the video for the public. This recording started more than five minutes before the neighbor began recording. Hey, she took my kid. Yeah, we're out with her. We're out with her. Relax. Relax. Thank you. Hey, you want to talk to her? Hey, kid. Yeah, sit down. Who are you talking to like that? I'm a sit down. man. She took my kid. We're out with her. I'm found with my kid now. Sit on the curb then. In a written statement, police said because emotions were so high, he was not obeying the officer's commands and made comments that spiked concern for officer safety. Mesa police also say Darnay filed an internal affairs complaint after the situation and said the following. The officer's actions were not in violation of department policy. However, upon reviewing the body-worn camera video, it was determined that supplemental training would be beneficial for both officers, as there is always room for improvement. So how is that good practice if you need better training? The past experience changing Darnay's mindset in the future. I'm mentally messed up. It's more mentally for me now, like, I will never call the police again for no help. Never. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trip back again, hit y'all another video. Hope y'all having a very great day. Hope y'all having a very great week. My day is going absolutely magnificent. Big shout out to all the channel members and subscribe to the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story out of Arizona by way of Mesa. And big shout out to everybody in the great city of Arizona. Everybody inside the great city of Mesa. Now, before I start the story, I want to send a special thank you out to my channel members and also to my subscribers for sending me this story. And also, keep these stories coming. In this story out of Arizona, I have a lot of people questioning the Arizona Police Department and also as to why this man who go by the name of Darnay Cockrell, 52 years old, was fired from his job. Now, I don't know if you all have seen this video or not, but trust me, the video is very disturbing because a lot of this could have turned out very badly. As in the case of Sonia Massey, the case I did a few weeks ago out of Illinois, where we had a woman who also called the police department because she was experiencing a mental episode. And then when the two police officers came to her home, she was viciously gunned down live on camera. And then the police had the nerve to justify it. So the same thing could have happened in this situation in Mesa, Arizona, where we had 52-year-old Darnay Cockrell, who called the police to report that his four-year-old daughter was missing. On August 6th, Darnay called police to report his ex had taken his daughter. But this bastard on the phone, I'm like, she took, I'm saying kidnapping her. She kidnapped a kid. And guess who took the child? Yes. The child mom. Now the story goes also that the child mom, who go by the name Nicole Connor Sharp, is on drugs. She's a crackhead, basically. And I'm not trying to be funny or anything like that, but they say she's on drugs. And hopefully for her sake and for her child's sake, she can get herself straight. But at the same time, this goes to show you that some people will come to you with hidden agendas. And now the story goes just a few weeks ago, Nicole Connor Sharp came to Darnay Cockrell apartment because she wanted to see her daughter which she has not seen the child in over three and a half years, says Darnay Cockrell. So Darnay, being a stand-up guy, allowed Nicole Connor Sharp, even though she's on drugs, to see her child. Now ask yourself this, family. How many people in Darnay's shoes would sit there and let their child see their mom, especially if the mom have not been a child life, have not did a damn thing for the child, and also is on drugs? Because you must understand, people that are on drugs, their drug is their God. They don't care about no child. They don't care about you. Really don't even care about themselves because look how they turn out. So after Donate Cocker allowed the baby and mama, Nicole Connor Sharp, to see the child, he started proceeding to get dressed. And that's why he have his work clothes on. I'm on my way to work. I'm, up, I'm, I'm talking to the officer. Because not only was he almost viciously assaulted by these cops, but he also lost his job. So that's why he has his uniform on. Because you have people out there wondering why the Donate Cockrell have his work uniform on. That's because he was getting ready for work. And as you all can tell, this is early in the morning, a little bit after six o'clock. 
In a way that we know the time, it's because Dornay Cocker himself stated the time. So that's why he have his work uniform on, because you have people saying he should have took his work uniform off. And now let me ask you all this. If your four-year-old child, son or daughter came up missing and you had your work uniform on, would you think to take your uniform off or would you immediately go and try to hunt and find your child? Me, I know me, I would sit up there and go try to find my child. The hell with the work uniform, the hell with the job. So that explains why Dornay Cockrell have his work uniform on. And the reason why he was fired from the job was because after they seen the video go viral on Instagram and all over social media, that's when the company reached out to him and fired him. Now, let me ask you all this question right here before we dig deep into the story. Why do you think the company that Dornay Cocker worked for, and I tried to look on his shirt, try to see exactly what company it was, but I could not find the name of the company because I want to question them myself and ask them the real reason why they fired this man because clearly any parent in their right mind would be upset also. Now, as Dornay Cocker was talking to the male police officer, that's when the female police officer pulled up. And that's when things escalated. And that's why you have his friend who was doing all the recording telling the other cop to stop trying to escalate the situation. You escalated everything. Who? The cop. He escalated everything. Because that's exactly what she was trying to do. And I don't know why she was trying to escalate the situation. When clearly, you all should understand that the father is upset because his child is missing. And what decent parent would not be upset? And you would think once the officers got to his apartment and he told them exactly what happened, they would immediately go and look for the child instead of trying to subdue him. Now, the male cop told Darnay Cockrell to sit on the curb. Now, think about this. Why would a cop ask a man, a father that is, who's trying to find his missing child to sit down on a curb? And Darnay Cockrell politely told the cop that the reason why he could not do that was because he had bad knees and also had surgery on his shoulder. Would you stop? Hey, he told you he's hurt. I hit my head, my wrist, I just had surgery. So if you had surgery on your shoulder and also you got bad knees, who in the hell gonna wanna stoop down that low to sit down on a low curve? Think about that. And you can tell by the video that Dornay Cockrell is a pretty tall guy. So think about this. How bad would that be on that man's knees trying to sit down on a damn curve when clearly he is upset because he's trying to find his daughter? So after the male cop asked Dornay Cockrell to sit on the curb and he did not comply with them, that's when they put their hands on him and dragged him down to the ground, basically wrestled him down to the ground. But you have the news saying that Dornay Cockrell was seated on the ground. And that's a damn shame right there. Look at this. Now, you all let me know this right here. Why would the news say one thing, but the video says another thing? Because clearly he was not seated. He was forced to the ground. So here we have a father who is 52 years old trying to find his four-year-old daughter, and this is the way he get treated, clearly, that is not right. But after all this blew up in the spotlight, the police department, the Mesa Police Department, that is, came out with a statement basically saying that the reason why they subdued him was because he was highly emotional, and also, he said some things that concerned the officer's safety or whatnot. Police said because emotions were so high, he was not obeying the officer's commands and made comments that spiked concern for officer safety. But let's think about this, family. Why would the Mesa Police Department come out and say that the reason why they subdued him was because he was highly emotional? But ask yourself this also, family. What person who just had their child taken from their apartment would be cool, calm, and collective? Now, on one hand, if he would have stopped there being cool, calm, and collective. Maybe they would have thought that he did something to the child. And also think about this. Now, what if he never called the police and didn't show any kind of concern? He would still wind up in trouble, right? But he still wind up losing his job just because he was highly emotional. But like I told you all, what person in their right mind would not be highly emotional if your child had just got taken from you? But it also made me think about the baby mama true motive. Now, why do you all think Nicole Connor Sharp originally came to this apartment? Was it because she wanted to see the child? Or was it because she had the intent to take the child and start a whole lot of mess, which she clearly done? So, not only did she get herself arrested, but she also got her child father fired from his job. Now, think about this. Now, Dornay has to take care of himself and also have to take care of the four-year-old daughter and also have to pay rent and also upkeep his car or whatnot. So, clearly, the man have to have a job. And what kind of job sit up here to fire a father when he's on camera showing concern for his own damn child. And think about this also, family. What would you have done in that situation? Because you have people trying to say, well, he should have stopped and took off his work uniform. But at the same time, Dornay was trying to call his job, but the police stopped him. So maybe if the police did not stop him and he was allowed to talk to his job and explain to him what happened, maybe things would have been different. But clearly, the job seen the video because that's why he wound up fired. So once again, why do you all think 
Darnay was fired from his job because from what I heard, it's a pretty good job he had. And also, you already know in this day and age, it's hard to get a decent damn job. But also, it's really concerns me is this right here. is the fact that we have a shortage of good black men inside the home taking care of their children. But here we is have a man who's out there providing for his child who's not in any trouble or anything like that and was not committing a crime and was not suspected of committing a crime. But yet and still, he wind up getting wrestled to the ground, probably could have lost his life. And also get fired from his job. Now, ask yourself this. Was this justice for this man when the whole time he was the victim? He was the victim. The suspect is Nicole Connor Sharp, the baby mama. But at the same time, this goes back to what I always tell you all. Is that you have to align yourself with the right people. And they have an old wives tale. And I don't know if you all know what wives tale is. It's kind of like what they call tall tales. They have an old saying that the devil can only enter your house if you open the door and let him in. You got to let the devil in. So the devil being the cold coming sharp that day, he allowed her to come inside that home. And guess what? And that's why we had the story. And that's why he almost got himself seriously hurt and also fired from his job. All because he was trying to do the right thing, call the police, even though he was highly emotional. And for that male cop who was all in Darnay's face talking to him like a child, shame on him. Because, sir, what would you have done if it was your child? And that is exactly what Darnay asked the both of them. What would you all have done if somebody took your child? So let me ask you all this family in closing. What would you have done different than what Darnay done in the video? Because I know me clearly, I probably would have done a lot more than what he done. But once again, shame on the Mesa Police Department because after the fact, they're going to sit there and say that the reason why they did this was because he was highly emotional and he did a few things to raise officer safety concerns. But at the same time, they back door in the end and say, that their officers need more training, need better training. So clearly, the officers were overboard. So since the Mesa Police Department admitted that themselves that they need better training, and it's all on video of what they are doing, why couldn't the job that Darnay worked for see that themselves and get that man back his job? Or better yet, never even fired him. And the baby mama who took the child was jailed on suspicion of disorderly conduct under the domestic violence law. And Sade, you should have stayed away from those people. And guess what? All would have been well because clearly. You did not give a damn about seeing your child because the only thing that you came to Darnay's apartment for was to cause trouble. That's exactly what you've done. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me and we can talk about it more there. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel or become a channel member. And make sure you share the video with your family and friends. Until next time, you all stay blessed. And I will see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.